Hey guys, welly well well. <laughs> I have not made a video in a while and I'm sorry. I have a baby these days guys and I would love to explain everything but uh, we got enough uh, videoing to do already. And so Mac put out a challenge for some of his OGs over there to make some symbolism videos. So uh, we can together show some new faces what we got going on and uh, just generally have a good time. And uh, I was saving these for a new channel and I'll probably post them on the new channel. Hopefully that'll be coming soon. I'm a little rusty on my video skills, guys, but let's go ahead and do this. All right, we're looking at red and blue today, right? Our ultimate duality. It's black and white. <laughs> Yin and yang. I'm not going to explain it that much all at once, or we'll be looking at Riff Raff's mug all day here. I liked this one because it's got a 33 on his cup. And uh, first of all, he's got the cup symbolism going. He also has a, a jeweled gold chain of this icy cup. He likes to cover up the I and the C and just show the 33. It's backwards. <laughs> Anyways, red and blue. We're looking at red and blue, guys. Uh, for a long time, this is my little baby's favorite song and music video. She calls it Foo Foo. <laughs> Maroon 5. Who knows? I was. <laughs> Gah, I know way more Maroon 5 songs than I ever thought I would. Okay. But it's a cute little video from that uh, Disney uh, Wrinkle in Time movie, right? And here you've got the black girl and the white boy. Like the NXS song. Black boy, white girl, or whatever, right? Yin and yang. They're touching heads, all right? And this video is pretty good. Um, Maroon 5, of course, it's red, and 5 is our star. Our red and blue here are touching heads so that they can be one. Sacred masculine, sacred feminine. Okay, and I, um, of course, there's the third eye symbolism here in the Vesica Pisces with the two O's overlapping, our fish bladder, <laughs> right? And then our M is three V's, so it's 666, and um, yeah, do what you will with that 666, but, you know, we do the, every video, I gotta do that. Do you really know what it means? <laughs> All right, here's another one of those a similar 33 to Riff Raffs down here. This is a show about pro wrestling, a sitcom in the 80s that failed horribly. But, of course, I have to know about it. And you can see this guy's making this sign down here with this 33 on it. But really, we're looking at red and blue, right? Red and blue. Here we have the parent and the kid, right? <laughs> the father and the son or daughter, or you know. They're yin and yanging it up, red and blue style. AJ Styles here, he's a professional wrestler. This is before he was <laughs> very famous. He's playing the blue guy here. He's playing the spirit who comes to this woman's house in this music video, country video, to fix the lights. <laughs> and of course she's the lady in red, trying to decorate the home, make the home a beautiful place, okay? Which we're really talking about inside us, not a real house. <laughs> Oh, we are talking about the real house, aren't we? We got red and blue butterflies in the background, too, because AJ Styles has been horribly, satanically, ritually abused in MK Ultra experiments. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he saves her. Okay. It's a cute little video. The butterflies, the red one and the blue ones, right? Looks like there's green and yellow, too. Oh, yeah, the wall's yellow. And then the white stove and everything. We got the whole pentagram covered in the color code here. And I know some people don't know what the hell I'm talking about, and that's okay. Stick around and learn. Or uh, disregard me as a mongoloid. <laughs> I don't care. Um, father and son again. And no, we're not. they're not dressed red and blue, but uh, they are... Doing the brain freeze, Dunkin' Donuts freezy challenge, whatever these drinks are called. There's a red one and a blue one, right? <laughs> and, uh, yes, I went down a Dunkin' Donuts rabbit hole of red and blue. That's not the only pick I have. Do you stand with President Trump? Yes or no? Red or blue? 
no in-betweens, no, <laughs> well, I like this, and but I don't like that, and, uh, you know, yeah, this is cool, but that sucks, yes or no, fuckers, <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's your options, lottery tickets, I've never really understood, I'll scratch one if someone gives me one, but, uh, Jesus, what a waste of money, I thought drugs were bad, Big Red 8, right, happens to be exactly the same as the Big Blue 8. Why'd they make a red and a blue one? Right, and of course, <laughs> red and blue, as opposite as they are, really turn out to be the same motherfucker. Okay. And I can prove it, huh? Big Red versus Big Blue. These are, this is cream soda. I got a really horrible sweet tooth <laughs> and I really love sugary drinks it's real bad and um, my chubbiness shows what kind of price I pay to enjoy my sugary drinks and probably my third eye pays for it too but uh, one day I'll balance that out I choose big blue okay <laughs> I gotta think for blue drinks sorry but big red is also good with just Barely a slight variance in flavor. Really, they're the same thing. Vanilla cream soda. Okay. This is, um, you know those bikes you can get from the docking stations or whatever in downtown areas. You know, Long Beach, LA. And now I live in San Diego County these days. And we have the OFO, which of course is 666. <laughs> But you see these yin and yangs. Black boy, white girl. All right. One facing right, one facing left. One wearing red helmet, one wearing blue. And again, our pentagram is colored. Covered, excuse me. Green, yellow, red, blue, and white. Okay. And the black outline. You know, they like to do that too. Throw in the black outline. So, there's more meaning there. One has a backpack, one does not. <laughs> one's blonde one is not and of course we have the bikes to symbolize balance also great what have I done yeah I'll just do that there we go alright I didn't edit this picture <laughs> obviously but who wore it better well, who cares it's pro wrestling right <laughs> and um yeah well he you know me, we'll see wrestling again. But who wore it better? The faces or the heels, right? The good guys or the bad guys? Red and blue. And what if Disneyland still uh, used tickets? When I was a kid, they still used these tickets. E-ticket will get you on Space Mountain, right? But I liked uh, how they pulled the tickets out from behind this little pick. To show the six, the six, and the six. Isn't that great? <laughs> the dark past of sea monkeys. If I saw this scene in person and I was walking by, someone might get smashed. <laughs> okay, the dark past of sea monkeys. The dude that offers us the pentagram, or offers a little girl the pentagram, also offers us... Red and blue, right? And uh, in this case, really, it's not a red or blue. It's a correct red and blue, except that it's a trick, right? You're supposed to uh, pour in the stuff to get the water ready, the water conditioner. And then number two, the red, is supposed to be the eggs. And as soon as you put the eggs in, it's instant life, right? Actually the eggs are in packet number one and after 24 hours you can add the dye that's in packet number two to just <laughs> make the guys that are already alive visible so it's a little illusion no problem you still get your monkeys or <laughs> whatever here to help family life go right well we've got a lot going on here don't we we've got our pillars and uh, they're shown as real physical pillars and they're also these people black man white lady okay 
a red and a blue. They're yin and yang. And uh, behind them, they also have what's uh, shown as two double crosses and a triple cross in the middle for the Pope. <laughs> Not really for the... I mean, yes, the Pope uses it. Okay, now it says to go right, which um, I only see a red door, really. Uh, <laughs> I don't see the blue one. Uh, I do see a white one over there. So we can look at that a million ways. Um, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time on it. Too, one picture, really. Here's the star. This movie uh, is on Netflix or Cody. I saw this picture or something. But, uh, yeah, again, like the Maroon 5 video, it's the heads near each other, okay? Because we're talking about the right and left side of our brains, red and blue. And uh, these red and blue chicks uh, are putting their heads together, and probably uh, we will end up with a star, no matter what they say. Red Vines. This is one of my favorite 33s. <laughs> An original red. But, uh... They also uh, offer blue and even white. I need just some, uh, <laughs> as my words slow down, I'm noticing this other 33, the three on each side of original red, and uh, the little sunrise there. Interesting. Lando Lakes, do you have a lesson for us, butter? Land O Lakes, okay. Which is a 33 with a stargate in the middle. But uh, here we have our Indian princess, Squaw Girl. And we could draw the pyramid right over. As you see, the reflections in the water and everything are all leading up to those red and blue feathers on her head. She has a halo. I love halo symbolism. And <laughs> I catch people with halos all day on TV and stuff. But uh, she's got a red and blue on her head joined together, and that's why she gets the halo, okay? Um, the land and the sea are represented in yin and yang, also the sky and the earth. But, uh, yeah, so, Lando Lakes. I think this is Liv and Maddie on the Disney Channel, and the kids have this stuff on, I <laughs> I infuriate everybody because I have to pause it every five seconds to take a picture. It's just Disney Channel's too fun. As it's kind of creepy, as it's kind of rad. I mean, huh, you know, we can't just red and blue it. Okay? Watch with your kids. If you're worried about it, watch it with them. <laughs> Here's a red and blue 33 at the breakfast table for Liv and Maddie. All right, my show, The Tribe. <laughs> It's one of the best shows of all times, if you ask me. And I cannot get anyone else to watch it because it appears so ridiculous. And it really is. New Zealand teen soap opera. All the adults are dead in the virus. The kids tribe up. That's all you really need to know. This is Top Hat, our Freemason villain. <laughs> Top Hat has a red guardian and a blue guardian. <clears throat> him in the middle he's putting himself in the god position or the satan position really and of course we've got the red queen on the walls too and the jack really lady in red oh 